Hello to everyone and welcome to another marine engineering video by Adventure Store channel. Also guys, I will speak in the two languages that I know. I know also Russian and Greek and in Russian it will be Dobro пожаловать на мой канал Adventure Story. And in Greek it will be Kalos ertate sto kanali to Adventure Story channel. I hope you like this channel and we together we make something big. We are moving forward and today we'll talk about the plant blackout maintenance that we will do in some electric equipment of the ship. First of all, I like to inform you that there is two cases of blackout. There is a maintained blackout which is plant and the other blackout it will be not necessary plant it will be unplanned and it can happen in any cases and you must be always ready to take the proper decision first of all i like to say that the unplanned blackout can be done in some failure of the system to support the main power of the ship this reason can be a trip of diesel generator or some equipment to be burned due to a lot of running hours and the plant blackout can be a maintenance work which must be done and replace some parts on the power line or the power grid or on the power panels somewhere on the distribution panels 440 or 220 it depends the electrical drawings it depends the electrician the electrician how he decide to make his work safe and properly today you will see a lot of images and we will stay a little bit to check them and we will speak about them and first of all, I like to thank you that you're stay tuned, you have subscribed and press the bell button and also your thumbs up. Don't forget to share the videos so we will reach more and more uh, people who is in interest on such videos. First of all, here we will see after we cause the blackout what we have in our panels, in managing panels, what we have for very first information we have that our engine is on shutdown and also in Consberg we have some indication which starts to increase we have a shutdown from jacket cooling fresh water inlet pressure and we have also indicator on the monitor of the engine engine speed is reduced and these pictures we will run again and again I have to set them to two times but j just for you you can stop you can freeze and you can see what is going on first of all how we prepare for plan blackout first of all we pressurize our main air bottles our air reservoirs we have two on uh, the ship we make them about 28 to 29 bars so we will be sure that we have enough air to start our diesel generator engines and managing also we have fill our emergency air bottle which is located close to diesel generators in case that these main air bottles will be empty and we will have one or three attempts to start from the emergency air bottle next remember we will start just have in mind you need to start the generator that is supplied from emergency diesel generator panel this generator will be indicated on the panel of diesel generator and the reason we make that because the emergency diesel generator supply power to prelubricating pump so at the moment of the start of that generator uh, the lubol pressure will be supplied to diesel generator so we will avoid 
any damage on the startup, on the bearings, on the main bearings, on the connecting routes and the turbocharger. Just remember that uh, always emergency diesel generator supply on number one or number two diesel generator. So next step is to pressurize our boilers. We have two auxiliary boilers, we pressurize them. And what we do, we just pressurize one boiler to be standby and the other for sure will be pressurized until 10 kilos or 11. Because after the stop of managing, the steam will be reduced. Also, we will stop any heating we have in uh, storage tanks, in storage lines. We will close also all purifiers, we will stop all purifiers, so we will not have any consumption of uh, steam. And also we will slide open preheating to main engine. Next also what we will do is to have a good communication through walkie talkies. These VHFs that we have on board we have always set and prepare the communication. And the last thing that we will do it will be trig out have little noise here this is how it looks like the blackout outside alpha lubricator here what indications we have so we have steam air prepared and also we must be ready always to switch to diesel in case that uh, our fuel will be cooled down so quickly but if you stop around for one hour or two hours there is no need to change over to diesel but always you have in mind that you must know the procedure of diesel generator change over or supply from emergency diesel generator a supply pump which is a air pump so the air will be delivered from the main air bottles always know the emergency procedures and be prepared from the beginning so here as you can see our engine is stripped is on shutdown we have some indications here on the panel we have also in the Kongsberg and slowly slowly all the alarms indicated here around this is at the first moment which one coming first you can see the first uh, time of the blackout what is happening all the pumps for sure will go off because what we do we slowly slowly stop all the pumps one by one and the load of on generator will be reduced and then we can just uh, open the breaker to disconnect the generator from the line and next what will happen the generator will stop and after for the recovery what we will do we start the generator which is supplied from emergency switchboard as i told for for prelubricating pump also here you can see we have a lot of alarms you can freeze and you can see what is going on i just make it video so you have a clear view what is going on what alarms you will have and you can make any questions that you like purifiers I told that we stop and let's talk about for the recovery what will happen after the recovery okay we, we will start one generator the generator will be connected and slowly slowly we will be recover all the system that you have seen in the previous videos which pumps is working and which switches must be on and then after the blackout everything will be must be recovered so we will be 
at the, at the end when all the pumps is running and all the alarms because this uh, Kongsberg system you have an indication what is going on and after all their alarms disappear you will be easily monitor that everything is fine and if you are ready to start your main engine after you have set the second generator you can start your blowers of main engine auxiliary blowers and also we can start to maneuvering our main engine next after we have increased the speed and we have also when the main power will be restored at the beginning when we start the first generator our emergency generator will be disconnected from the emergency supply line and the switches will be changed position the emergency switchboard will be disconnected and the main line will be support the emergency switchboard will give any power to the emergency switchboard and will be supplied here you can see how it looks like in the blackout procedure what lights we have we have some of the lights not of all the lights working all these line of light supply from emergency switchboard also we can see after and before of alpha lubricator after everything it's reset how it look like this is the reason that i make this picture our steering gear go again to high mode emergency generator is standby everything come to normal everything will be reset and also boilers here will be reset everything and all will be to normal and also indicators here on the panels and also the shoes that we have AC power on is normal the lamps here on the console power lamps and this is the reason why we make a blackout to clean these connections of the switch the switch was old and what is going on if the switch is going going old by the time the plastics will destroy the connections will be destroyed and it's very very dangerous for sparks for circuits and fire this is the most important case that you need to replace your switches because they they damage through the time as you can see here the color it really really bad we do not really know what was there it's paste or something else something was applied there or through the heat they will be produced something and this is the dirty that contains on these switches like carbon something after burn deposits so be careful be prepared in any cases try to be calm because when you are calm you think better you can take uh, proper choices and this is the most important in all cases be safe don't forget adventure story because adventure story like only the best for you what else we can tell we have prepared everything fine everything will be set back the only problem that we have in the switch to put back there is some bolts that will be fixed and these bolts must be exactly in the line so you can tighten them if they are a little not straight inside you will not be able to connect as you can see these threads here in the middle it's a little difficult to arrange them 
so practice in unpowered panels practice also in your school